those God placed desires in your heart will return and you will find excitement again. You will find joy again. You will have hope again. You won't hold on to hopelessness and despair anymore. That's not going to be your normal anymore. Release those things and actually allow yourself to embrace life like you've never embraced it before. Lord, give me grace to share this amazing prophetic word. I'm so excited. My brain is going faster than my mouth. A lot of times when I film these really amazing videos that he has placed in my heart, my brain goes crazy. My heart goes crazy. It's so exciting. What's even more exciting is that this is a word that we are stepping into in the new year. So the new year is quickly coming upon us. I love the new year experience because it's like I get, I get to reset, start fresh, and relook at my goals, make new goals. I'm such a goal-driven individual anyways, so I just get so excited. But I don't really go to the Lord and ask him for a prophetic word for the new year specifically. I just wait upon him, and if he has something profound for me to share with you guys, I will share it. Each week I do ask him, do you have something that you want me to share with other individuals? And I will write it down in this notebook here. So I've written it down and I could read it to you. I don't want to because I'm going to put this on my website. So if you want to go and read this, you can read it yourself. I'm going to share with you verbally <laughs> what the Lord placed on my heart for you guys. And I'm very excited. So like I said, I didn't pursue this word specifically for the new year. This is just God doing it himself. Like he was like, I have a word for the new year. I believe that this word that he has put in me to share with you guys has been stirring in my heart since this past summer, maybe even before that. Like it's been a word that's been building and building and building within me when he starts to speak about things such as 2024, those lost hopes and desires that you've had for many, many years back, if you're old enough, they're going to come back into your life in 2024. I asked the Lord, what are you, what are you talking about? So when he first told me that hope is being renewed in this coming year in 2024, that it's going to be a year of just fulfilled promises, expectations met in different areas of our lives. I was thinking very small. I was thinking, oh yeah, I've been, you know, wanting this for a year or two, hoping that this would take off. And he's like, no, you don't understand. You do not understand, Amanda. I'm doing something deeper in my children. That's going to touch places within us that have literally died years ago because of experiencing hurt and pain over and over again. And we've just let go of a lot of that dreaming that you have as a youth. And he told me that's what I'm reviving back into many of my children, my faithful, loyal children this coming new year. Still, I was like, what does that mean, God? What does that mean? So he gave me a dream about it. I'm going to share that with you in this video. And he continued to speak to me, especially this past week. He just kind of, how do I say, a word that he planted in me this past summer or even before that, this past week, he revisited this word that he planted in my heart as a seed. And then he just decided to shape it perfectly where I could see it, where I could see the full picture and not just pieces over here and pieces over there, but like the full picture. So that's what we're going to be getting into today. That's a lot of intro. I apologize for that. The Lord told me a couple of things. One, the enemy has been coming after the children of God so hard this past few years. We just want to get back to where we were before 2020, a lot of us. We just want to get back to some normalcy of what that was before. But to be frank with you, it's never going to be the way it was before because a lot of us are aware of things we didn't know before. And so our perspective and our expectations have changed a lot. So when the Lord started to put in my heart that 2024 was going to be a good year, I was thinking, all right, we're going to get to a place of just restoring things that were lost because of 2020 and the years after and because the enemy has just been on a rampage. He's been on a rampage and it's just been like, okay, enough, 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 enough. And then in this whole process, a lot of us have grown. A lot of us have been sanctified more and more in the Lord. A lot of us have recognized that we can't have one foot over here on this side and another foot in the Lord. Like we have to choose which and where we stand. Are we going to follow the Lord? Then let's follow him with our whole heart. 
instead of just playing around, right? The Lord was like, it's more than just that. This has nothing to do with, with bringing restoration back because of 2020. This is something deeper. And I was like, okay, cool. So here's the dream. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me backtrack once more. So God has a timeline. He has specific plans that he is putting in place and in motion this coming year in 2024. He's been doing a lot. Like God's always working. He's always doing something in the background. It's just hard for us to see what he's doing sometimes. And then we do see the fruit of it eventually. He has his own timeline and his own plans that the enemy cannot disrupt. The enemy cannot come against what God has sovereignly planned and ordained for our lives. I mean, the enemy has tried. He's tried to like really trip us up. He tried to steal our joy, to steal our hope, to place within us despair, struggle with mental health issues, all these kinds of things. But God is still going to do his plan. And we, as believers in Christ, who have endured and not walked away from the Lord, not walked away from our faith, we are what is called in the book of Revelation, overcomers overcomers in the Lord. And it's still not finished. This race that we're running, like Paul says in the New Testament, this race is not finished. But if you've practiced being an overcomer, you're going to be greater at overcoming in the days to come. And things that the enemy throws in your face, they won't be as big of an obstacle because you become resilient. You become strong. You become fierce for the Lord. There are a lot of us out there that are like that right now because we've been through so much. And I'm not just talking about since 2020, but even years before that. Let me give you the dream that the Lord gave me to give me a better awareness of what God is going to do in this next year of 2024. I had this dream where in the dream, there was a part of me in the dream. It was like a younger part of me. And I knew it was a younger part of me because individuals that were around me were the people that were in my life at that young age. And it was like when I was in college and I was like, I know that person from college. I know that person from college. Like, it's like that part of me. The Lord showed me that I was having heart surgery, that that part of me, that young 20 something year old was having heart surgery. And it was really interesting because you would think that, you know, during surgery, you would be asleep because of anesthesia. But I was awake during the surgery process. I couldn't feel anything. I wasn't terrified. I wasn't afraid. So the Lord wanted me to see that there was something taking place within my heart. He was healing it. He was doing surgery on it. I was led into another room and there were other individuals in that room and it was individuals of my life currently. So I was like, what's going on? <laughs> always asking the Lord, what does that mean? I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I had heart surgery last night. <laughs> and the Lord started speaking to me and he was like, yes, you had heart surgery, but a part of you, a younger part of you that was traumatized and split off from your soul was receiving heart surgery last night. And that part of you held specific dreams, desires, hopes, and visions for the future that died when that part of you became sick in the heart. So I had a lot of heartache during my college years. I even remember like I was just different from my experience after college. I was just a shattered person. <laughs> I was very broken, really, really intense, bad heartbreak. It really, really impacted me on a very, very deep level. So much so that apparently a part of me fragmented off because of the intense pain, the intense heartache. And there was other things that happened as well. I'm not going to share in this video. But the Lord was showing me in the dream that he had to do heart surgery on this part of me in order for him to revive the dreams, the hopes, the visions I had at that young age back into my life again. That I would have hope again. Part of me would be alive again. That youthful part of me. When we're in our 20s, we are just like the world is our oyster. We can do anything. We have this like crazy courage and boldness. We try to do all of these things. Like this was who I was when I was in my early 20s. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna conquer the world. <laughs> but then I got hurt numerous times in a short season. And some of that gusto definitely went away. And I'm very aware of this. The Lord gave me the interpretation of the stream and I was like, what? God, you're going to revive things that were in my heart from when I was in my 20s? I'm not telling you how old I am right now, but that was 
That was many moons ago. I'm, I'm excited and confused at the same time because I'm like, what was in me that I lost because of the heartache? So I had to try to reflect and remember and ask the Lord, can you just like remind me who I was when I was in my 20s? Like what person I was that was willing to do amazing, courageous things, but now I'm not. And he did. He, he started revealing that to me. He was like, you were just like, you were courageous. You would do anything for me, Amanda. So that's the dream. That's the dream I wanted to share with you guys because that's... That's what the Lord is talking about when he's speaking into us right now for the year of 2024. He is reviving things in our hearts, desires, dreams. Wow. The way that we looked at the world, the way that we expected good things from this life. We were hopeful, very, very hopeful. He's reviving those things back into our lives. And he's going to be doing something in us in order for that reviving to happen. So He needs to do the heart surgery. We need to allow him to heal those parts of us that have been wounded and even fragmented off if some of us have been traumatized in order for those things to come back into our lives. We need to allow him to heal us completely in order to be able to walk into the revived hopes and dreams that he's putting back into our lives. There is a promise from the Lord, but there is also a condition that goes with it. You can't just hope that it happens. You have to allow him to heal you, to work on you in order to step into it and to believe. Again, allow yourself to believe and to trust that those things are going to come back. Those God-placed desires in your heart will return and you will find excitement again. You will find joy again. You will have hope again. You won't hold on to hopelessness and despair anymore. That's not going to be you're normal anymore. Release those things and actually allow yourself to embrace life like you've never embraced it before. Well, maybe like when you were younger <laughs> and more so because you're you're older, you're wiser, you know better. You know the difference now between God's desires and just the worldly desires. Instead of pursuing after the world, you know how to pursue after the things that God has placed within you. And to do so with confidence, trust, hope, faith, Faith, we have so much faith when we're younger and when we get older, like that faith just kind of starts to fade away. God wants to increase faith again, like a child within us and to trust him again, that he's got good things for us. He's got good things for us. Okay, let me go back to my written word and see if I've missed anything. Yeah, this this is the part that I like. Despair and hopelessness has settled too comfortably in the hearts of some and God is challenging those mindsets to change towards hope and optimism. If you have found that you've become more and more cynical because of the past hurts, because of the past wounds, that is not God's plan for your heart. Being cynical, being pessimistic, seeing the glasses half empty, that's not a place for God's children to be. He is pulling us towards being optimistic, not naive and not, you know, impractical, but genuinely optimistic about having a good day optimistic about these plans that we've set before us that God is going to come through for us and he's going to bless it and grace us being an individual full of faith full of trust and full of confidence with optimism with optimism (laughs) I believe that your faith your belief your hope in him it moves the heart of God and he will start speaking to you of the dreams and desires and visions that you once had that he's reviving let him speak that to you let him speak that to you And then he also resurfaced in my heart an older song, an older worship song back when I was younger. And that did something to me. Songs carry with them memories that are in our minds, just like smells do. When you hear an old song, it takes you back during that season, even years ago. And he surfaced this older worship song in my heart and revealed to me, remember how during this worship song, your heart beat for me so emphatically. Your heart beat for me, Amanda, with so much intensity and so much love and so much readiness to do anything I placed before you to do. And I was like, yeah, I remember that song. It set my heart ablaze for you, Lord. It set me in a place of expectation and excitement of doing things for the Lord and seeing him do wonders through my obedience to him. 
I remember that song, God. He brought that song back into my life recently and I had forgotten completely about it. And I was like, I love this song. It brings me back to that place where I made these promises to God and I made these heartfelt prayers to the Lord. He remembers those prayers. He remembers those things we promised him. He remembers those things that we hoped for in that season. He was like, I remember those things, Amanda, that you prayed for. I remember what was in your heart because these are the things I placed in you to seek me after for and to yearn for. I placed those desires in you and I did not forget. I did not forget. And I was like, man, that was years ago. And God was like, I know, I'm reviving it. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're reviving those dreams that I had years ago. And this is not just about getting something from the Lord. I'm not talking about that. This goes deeper. This is just like, you're going to get this. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. This is like, ah, I don't know how to say this. Like reviving the faith you had once before. Not just reviving dreams and visions, but it's also reviving the faith and the steadfastness you had, the consistency you had, resilience that you had. My faith is different than it was when I was younger, yes. And I want to remember that time and be like, yes, that was amazing. But now my faith is like more beautiful than it was before. And him reviving back to me the things that have been lost over time. And for you as well, it's only going to be coupled with the faith that we have now and it's just going to be like this beautiful like alignment in order to partake in this renewing of dreams your heart has to believe and trust him with them again walk boldly into where he's leading you and rejoice in the fact that a reviving of a lost and hopeful part of who you are is indeed returning god still being sovereign in our lives he's going to see these things through for us because he remembers your heart cry years ago he remembers those prayers he still has he has them all ha i think that's it oh i feel the joy of the lord right now i'm so excited i can't even tell you like this month has been an amazing month for me it's like the last month of this year because he's been preparing my heart all these months of what he's about to do in 2024 and i'm like okay i'm excited and like i've been doing little things putting my faith into action. It's not supposed to be such a long video. (laughs) Sorry. What can I do now to be ready for the new year? I don't have to wait for the new year to come. What can I do now to be ready for the new year? Doing things that he's told me to do this year, wrapping up this year well, being faithful in the small things he's told me to do this year and the big things so that the next year will go as he has planned it. Walk in obedience, friends. That is the key. Walk in obedience. Everything he's told you to do. Be obedient now. Be obedient tomorrow. Be obedient as the days come. Obedience will lead you into that reviving of old lost dreams and desires. And it's going to be sweet. It's going to be amazing. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.